So on my streams, I've been using this B trick a lot, and people always wonder how it's done. And so I'm just going to quickly show how I do it. So there are a couple different ways you can do it. The first one, I'm going to show you how I prefer. And you can grab the filing cabinet. You're going to put it right here between these two little parts of the ship. And then you're going to grab the bunk bed and turn it 90 degrees so it's on top. I like to shove it in the wall as much as possible, but you don't have to as long as it's just on top of the filing cabinet. Uh, then after that's done, you can put the filing cabinet wherever you want. And I'm going to show you the terminal clip way. So you go in here, and that's what a terminal clip is. So how this works is you click B on the terminal. That allows you to walk into it. Then you're going to be against the wall. You're going to hit E, which just cancels it. And you're going to walk forward. So here it is one more time. B, walk in, hit E, walk out. That's all that is. And so what you can do with that, go ahead and get your beehive. And you're just gonna look straight, drop that, flip out. And then the bees will go on top of the ship. Once they're up there, you can go ahead and get your beehive. Just drop it at the back of the ship so that way you can't aggro the bees if you're jumping around here. The other way to do it, if you don't want to learn how to consistently terminal clip, because it can be a bit tricky, is you're going to place it on here and then you're going to jump off the back. So you just need to make sure you have enough stamina to do that. So I'll show that method. We're going to go ahead and grab this beehive. Jump up here, drop, jump off the back. You aggro the bees if you don't move the beehive and you're kind of close to it. So just make sure you're moving that beehive kind of towards the back after you're done. Moving on, we have our other method where you can not worry about using the filing cabinet at all, and you can just put this down here. But this way, you need to make sure that you look up or jump when you drop it, because uh, if you end up dropping it on here, this lower one, the trick won't work. The bees will be inside the ship rather than on top. And that's why I like to use the filing cabinet, because it ensures that when you do it, you don't mess it up. But yeah, this one, looking up or jumping and dropping, it'll be good. So here's this. And I actually misspoke. You don't want to have to jump and drop it, because it'll put it on the top bunk bed. You want it on the third bunk bed. Uh, when you jump, you can't really get it on the third bunk bed. So you just want to look slightly up and drop when you're doing the tech. I'm going to go ahead and get our beehive. up and drop flip out and like usual I'll go up top one important thing to be careful of when you have the beehives back here you can still aggro them if you get in line of sight of the bees and are at the back of the ship so like right here should make them kind of angry so that's one thing you really want to avoid and then you can create roaming bees and stuff like that, which is just not good. It's not what you want. So make sure if you do put them back here that when you're outside the ship, you avoid this kind of part of the ship, this back corner for March. But this does work on the moon. You don't have to do this specifically for March. It's just the easiest because the jump for March gets kind of difficult because of how high up the ship is. But anyways, that's all I got for you today. Hope I taught you a little something, something random about Lethal Company, and see you in the next video. Peace.